know how to make seawater concentrate. So people may have, you know, I've heard that salt is bad for the land. Um, there's the story, I think it was the Carthaginians who salted the lands of yeah. the Trojans, or the Trojans and the Carthaginians, I don't know Romans, what. The Romans did the Carthaginians? The Romans salted the Carthaginians' fields, right? Carthage, if you go there now, is it's a big desert. There's nothing much, of anything, <laughs> any consequence, even though it was a, it was a, it was a big city-state a, a while ago. Um, if you put too much salt in the land, um, you can kill the land. Everybody knows this. I think it's sort of like it's somewhere deep down inside. Um, uh, interestingly, if you put a little bit of salt in the land, in many cases, it can increase the vigor and vitality. I like using the metaphor of soup. Um, if you are, you know, buying vegetables from the store and making soup, you put everything in, and it still has very little flavor. Um, and you toss a little bit of salt in, and all of a sudden, the flavor becomes much more appealing. If you toss a little bit too much salt in, it becomes inedible. So a little bit of salt is good, too much salt is bad, is my, my personal perspective. Um, if you're concerned about the sodium chloride, sodium chloride and you just want the trace elements, you can precipitate the sodium chloride out of seawater with the use of lye. It's really, really simple. Mm -hmm. So um, I like to say, again, um, this is a farm expense. This is a, you know, I'm, I'm actually working. It may look like I'm going to the beach um, to harvest seawater and camping out, but uh, I need to go harvest this fertilizer amendment, which I would otherwise spend hundreds of dollars to buy. So uh, the process is really simple. I suggest the coast of Maine. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure if anybody here has been to the coast of Maine. Uh, there's some really nice little inlets, and <laughs> it's really nice. Um, and the water's pretty clean compared to the Long Island Sound, or you know, I'm not sure Bridgeport. Yeah, or <laughs> what's that? Just anywhere in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that bad, really. But um, if you need an excuse to go to Maine, uh, that's probably a good one. <laughs> Um, so I say bring a 55 gallon drum and a 5 gallon bucket. Um, you want to set up your barrel, your drum at the you know high tide line. Um, you're basically going to go and fill it, fill your barrel with seawater, and then you take some lye and a stick and a pH strip, and you add pour lye into the barrel, stir it up with a stick until the pH goes to 10.4. It was 10.4. Um, when the pH has gotten 10.4, you have to let it sit for 24 hours. Um, come back. To Come back a day later. So this is where we have to go camping on the beach. Right? This is the part where it looks like it's a vacation, but it's not. This is actually formal work time. Um, but you have to wait there for 24 hours, and then um, when you come back 24 hours later, at the bottom of the barrel will be a milky-looking fluid, a white milky-looking fluid, like the cream is, is falling to the bottom, it's sort of risen to the top, and that is your trace element concentrate. That's the 90 elements from the seawater that's not sodium chloride. Oh. The sodium chloride is the 95% on top. The clear water on top, you can siphon off back into the ocean, and you can drive home with the concentrate at the bottom. Um, and that is high test. That is absolutely high test. You can pay dozens of gallons, dollars a gallon for it, or you can go make it yourself. I don't really care. But um, that is the cheat that, that raises soil conductivity in your, in your um, mix here. That's how you can dramatically increase soil conductivity. It also